Sunbathing in the open air. Since the 1980s, we've known that it's dangerous to your health because of damage to the Earth's ozone layer. There are huge holes in the ozone layer above both poles, but especially over Antarctica, that also affect Australia, Canada, and Northern Europe. Without the protective ozone layer in the stratosphere, that's at an altitude of around 20,000 meters, harmful ultraviolet rays reach the Earth's surface unfiltered. The result, anyone who goes around unprotected risks cancer and eye problems. That was behind the global ban on ozone killers such as chlorofluorocarbons 25 years ago. Whatever happened to the holes in the ozone layer? The ban on CFCs allowed the ozone layer to recover, but progress was still slow. Above all, CFCs from aerosol cans, refrigerators and air conditioning have already done great damage to parts of the ozone layer. And continue to do so. Because they're very durable and destroy the ozone in the stratosphere even after decades. Especially at high altitude temperatures of below minus 80 degrees Celsius. That's why holes in the ozone layer get bigger in the winter and shrink again in the summer. Climate change can also hinder the regeneration of the ozone layer because large amounts of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere prevent warm air from climbing. That means the stratosphere remains cool in the summer even as the Earth's surface warms up. Scientists think it could take another five to six decades for the ozone layer to recover fully.